Coach, first off, talk about how important it is to win your home playoff games. Uh, super important. I think we have uh, the edge being at home with our fans. Um, and what a great game for Ellie to go off, her last home game, uh, for everyone to be able to see that, to score 37. I mean, to shoot it so well, uh, that, was, that was awesome. Super exciting for her and very, very well deserved with all the time she's put in in that gym. So uh, that was awesome, and I think it gives us a ton of momentum uh, moving forward here to compete for a GLIAC championship. Uh, obviously, you know, your seniors chip in in big ways, whether it's Ellie's 37 points, Sloan's 10 points of offense, and you know, Alex picking up 11 rebounds. Mm -hmm. you know, for this group, this is the best way they can go out, right? Right, yeah, you could definitely tell our seniors were, were wanting to step up, and they did, like you said, in different ways, in big ways. Um, they all played their hearts out uh, and got to leave it all on this floor, um, possibly the last time they played here. Uh, with with Ellie tying your school record, what does that mean to you to have had the school record and now coached a young lady who now has tied you? Yeah, it's it's crazy, um, but so proud of her. I mean, she deserves it. She's a way better scorer than I ever was, so <laughs> she definitely deserves it. Um, I wish I would have got her one more shot up, uh, something at the basket or. Uh, something like that um, if I had known uh, what she was at but uh, super exciting uh, for her like I said so well deserved she puts in more time than anybody she's gotten up so many shots in that gym so to see her go out like that um, playing here in the wood gym uh, it's just the perfect ending uh, to play in here talk about the second half because they pushed hard and you had to kind of bend and not break so what was going on in the second half as far as what you, you could tell? Right, that second half we knew they were going to come out with everything they had. Uh, they're playing for their lives. They're playing to keep their season going. Uh, we gave up way too many and ones at the basket, um, especially to some non-shooters. So the defensive execution wasn't where it needed to be. Um, but at the same time, uh, they're a dang good team. It's not as easy as just taking away what you want to take away. So credit to them uh, for coming out with, with that fire in the second half, showing that um, they're capable, uh, but also really proud of our team for, you're right, bending but not breaking, to keep the composure, to stay poised when they pulled it within 10, within 7, whatever it was, um, for us to be able to, okay, execute the next possession um, and do what we needed to to be able to move on. You're on a five-game winning streak now. Uh, this group just finds ways to win, doesn't it? Yeah, they do. They absolutely do find ways. Um, and I know they don't want to be done, so I know they're going to do everything that they can. Um, they, they're such a great group. They just love each other. <laughs> they just have, you can probably tell watching them, their, their chemistry is unreal. Um, so whatever we got to do, doing the little things, um, sometimes it takes a little bit of luck and everything else, but uh, we're going to fight claw, teeth, nail, everything we got to do <laughs> to be able to keep playing here. <laughs> Uh, Bella doesn't have her traditional offensive night, but she still finds ways to chip in for you, and you know that's such a big part of, of what you're building here moving forward, isn't it? Right, yeah, she's just a sophomore, um, and typically she is a really steady player for us, even tonight. I mean, 11 points, 9 assists, that's a pretty good stat line, um, along with 4 rebounds. Uh, so maybe didn't shoot it as well as normal, maybe not as aggressive offensively, but when Ellie's playing like that, you don't need to be. So it's nice to see she can step back and um, let whoever's hot that night kind of take on more of that scoring role. Uh, so that's great to see she's capable of doing that. Um, and then still create for others in different ways with, with her assists. You're going to see either Parkside or Ferris, and I think they're in a tight battle right now. Uh, talk about both of those teams and what makes each of them special. Well, we lost to both of them this year, so they're, they're both dang good teams. I don't care what their rankings are or whatever. Um, Parkside has an unreal offense, another team that can really shoot it, and they have Alyssa Nelson, who's just... Uh, we saw her play here. She can hit step back three. She can get to the basket. She can counter. She does everything. So they're just super tough to guard. Um, and then Ferris has a couple seniors, their point guard and their post, who uh, just do so much for them and create so much offense for them. Um, but they're also uh, just very, very well coached uh, as well. Um, so 
they're tough to play against. Uh, so either way, it'll be a tough opponent. It'll be exciting, and, and we can't wait whoever we get matched up with.